today we are going to create a ink smudge effect it will be fun so let's get started without wasting any time Welcome back everyone, my name is Dhanan Jodhri from Wanchit Production. I have already created some practices here, you can see that it's pretty much nice, so we will create this one and I have also created this. So let's just start, go to file, new, we will create a new international paper and the size will be A4 and it will be in millimeters so we will change it to pixels and everything will be default so hit ok. Let's import our model which we will use. So we will use this one. We will size it up. Now we'll go to filter, filter gallery, go to dry brush in artistic category. Let's just zoom it out a little bit. So these are the settings which I have applied on this. Let's just give some more minor changes okay so let's just change it to five and it is pretty much nice yeah okay so the settings are brush size is 10 brush detail is five and texture is one so let's just increase try to increase this okay and i think it's uh, it will be one much better okay so hit ok we will press ctrl a press ctrl c press ctrl c again then we will create a new group then we will create a new layer mask thumbnail and then we will press alt and select our layer mask thumbnail and click on that now we'll press V and then press Ctrl D by default setting and now what we'll do is we'll go to image adjustment and curves now we'll just darken this image a little bit very nice I have just moved the black slider to uh, 46 and the white slider to 190 so let's just drag a little bit more left side so right side so it's 202 so hit ok to accept these settings now we'll create on our group then we will just hide this and now we will use our ink splatter which we can say it's texture we'll use first this one size it up and just drag this into that group now you, you can just move around this but you can see that it is not just uh, like inverted so what we'll do is we'll click on control oh sorry uh, we'll hold our alt key and click on this thumbnail and we'll press control i now it's fine now we'll create on this click on this folder then we'll click on our ink texture and we will just adjust this okay now we'll import our second one as you can see that it is pretty much nice Now we will change its uh, layer style to uh, multiply then the same thing for the previous layer. Now we will create copies of these and adjust them where they look nice.
okay so I think it looks nice here but we will do something more for it we'll just close this up copy this layer take to the top of this all of these layers turn on this create a layer mask and invert this press ctrl i to invert this then selecting this uh, layer mask we will press b and i have used this brush which i have downloaded from deviant art and uh, the link is given in the description for every of the texture and for the brushes and now we'll use some brushes to give a little color of the original image so we'll change the opacity to 45 percent and then just click on this changing different type of brushes for look more interesting don't use the same brush at uh, next time because it looks like it is copied from previous one so we'll just randomly change some brushes very nice it looks perfect for the time being very nice so now the only thing is left we will go to adjustments and go to levels we'll move the black slider to the i can say right side and and white to a little bit left side and increase the darkness a little bit and white not too much very nice yes this is very nice effect okay so now what we will do well we have completed our work till here but if you want to add more things like uh, i'll create a new layer and we'll uh, fill it with black color press ctrl backspace oh sorry alt backspace because our foreground color is black and we'll go to filter render and lens flare where is lens flare come on lens flare very nice and we'll just change it to a little bit on top we just want to get this uh, green ring so let's just increase some color not too much uh, no this one okay so the brightness is uh, 100% and hit ok now we'll go to filter blur and gaussian blur increase 36 percent 36 point zero is pretty much nice and hit ok now we will go to adjustments and go to all right now from this we will just create on only it so we'll go to filter sorry image adjustments and we'll go to uh, hui saturations and we'll increase the saturation to the maximum level and change the color to desired like we want this type of color green ring no 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 it should be zero so we'll not touch this and we'll increase the saturation very nice now hit ok it is pretty much nice now we'll change it to uh, we can say screen and press ctrl t to size this up don't worry about that rotate this to look more to look more interesting okay so that's it and it looks pretty much nice and different so i hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial and subscribe to our channel to get more tutorials so i will create more tutorials because it motivates me so we will see in next tutorial See ya, take care.